Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the West 7th Wool Podcast. This is a podcast by our local yarn shop here in Fort Worth, Texas, West, West 7th, 7th Wool. Wool. All right, so what we got going on this week? We have a whole lot of new items, but did you want to talk about events first? I think we should talk about classes and events first. That's how we usually roll. Did we ever talk about what we did last weekend? Um, No, but we can. I didn't. I don't think I did anything. Well, let's see. It was... I came to work once. <gasps> wow. <laughs> For a couple hours. Yeah, mixing it up. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty busy weekend, so it was a good weekend. So. Yeah, it was good. It yeah. was Valentine's Day weekend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, <laughs> I got her flowers. <laughs> anyway. Uh-huh. <laughs> they probably want to know a story about that. I don't know that there's a story to tell. <laughs> so, Hunter used to order flowers, mm -hmm. and they were always red. Yes. And I kind of got tired of red flowers. Mm-hmm. And I was like, just go down to the grocery store and get some white flowers this year. I was like can do so okay. he did <laughs> and so now that's what that's all i want is just a dozen flowers from the grocery store mm -hmm. so uh because you know i'm usually up here uh amy was out shopping for groceries a day or two before valentine's day <laughs> it was the day before and the i was like before. hey i'm here i'm just gonna pick them up yeah she just shot me a text and i shot her a thumbs up <laughs> Emoji. So I, I got like, exactly works. what I wanted. I love them. Uh-huh. Well, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I felt um, a little heat coming off my credit card when you, like, purchased them. They're so, $10. <laughs> a little heat. <laughs> it was at Target, so that was not that's $10 what, that's, where I tell him, that's where I tell him to go, too. I'm like, just go to Target and get me. No, I think I usually go to, like, the grocery store someplace. So. They're all good. Yeah. And uh, I always get the kids little stuff too, candies and stuff. So it, it was fun. It was oh, good. I didn't approve that. Yeah, yeah you do. What? You might not know it, but you do. Oh, naturally, that's how most <laughs> things in my life go. All right. What, so let's talk about classes then. Okay, classes Back to yarn, Hunter. Back yes. to yarn. Okay, uh, we're going to skip through the rest of the um, classes in... February? February because they're all full, I believe. Okay. So um, we've got March classes going on. Uh, we've got Tegna sweater class coming up. That first one is going to be on March fifth. That's a Thursday evening class. I've knew that before. Six You'll to like eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. good summer. Good summer. Mm -hmm. It's a class we've offered before too. It's always been popular. Yeah. So yeah, that'll work. Um, we are also once again offering cuff down socks, and uh, this time Karen's going to be mixing it up a little bit in that class she is going to be incorporating a oh as sorry i forgot <laughs> what the heel is it's a different heel that i'm told it's not afterthought it's i'll drop it surprise. in surprise yeah and then she's also uh talking about how to incorporate different patterning into the sock as well but anyway that's going to be on saturdays saturday afternoons from one to three and it's a three-part class mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to drive me nuts. I forgot what heel she's doing. Mm, I can find it. Um, also, we're going to have Alexandra Davidoff in to uh, teach a couple classes this month. She's teaching um, a pom-pom tassel class. She's actually teaching it twice because we the first one we listed filled up like almost immediately. 24 hours. So, Not uh, even. And fortunately, she was flexible enough and gracious enough to teach it a second time the yeah, following the next, weekend. Yeah, the next mm -hmm. week. So that's going to be on Sundays. Uh, the one that still has spots is on Sunday the 8th at 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, then we also, or then Alexandra is also offering a cross stitch on knits workshop at the end of the month. That's going to be on Sunday the 29th at 1 to 4 p.m. And then what else do we have? We are also offering a crochet bunny class this month. That's also going to be on Thursday evenings at 6 p.m. It's going to be on the 12th and 26th. That's one of the tough to get. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And there's going to be six spots in that class. Nice. And then finally, Mel's going to be offering another spinning workshop, this time on spinning woolen. And that's going to be on Saturday the 28th. Oh. So a lot of classes this month. What new things do you have? Do you want to talk about new products? New products. We have a few. I want to talk about a new product. I want to talk about the Harry Potter Knitting Magic book. This, this is what Tannis, has her so distracted. Tannis Gray. This is actually the first time I flipped through. We've had it for uh, 
a few days, a week? Two Over weeks? a week, maybe closer to two weeks. Two weeks. Um, there's a lot of cute stuff in here. Um, and there are Harry, there are things out of the movie like Hedwig and the Cornish pixie and the Weasley sweaters and the scarves, the house scarves uh, over there. But there are also um, in Harry Potter movie inspired things like these dueling mitts and those are beads with the moon phases on them. Isn't that pretty? Those are pretty. Um, and there, there are some other things in here that I'm having fun looking at. Well, you enjoy your book. I am. Okay. What do you have? Okay. So we've ha we have, uh, well, first of all, um, let me show you guys something that is back in stock that we may have already mentioned recently. We just recently, sorry, how will pop up there. Uh, got in some more of the Le Papillon Alsace bags. Uh, we got them in before a couple times now, and they have just been flying out of the shop, and we can barely keep them in stock. So we decided to bring them in one more time, just in case anybody has not had an opportunity to get them yet. They come in three colors. This is the bag. It's got a nice bottom. It's got a flat bottom with these, um, these guys, uh, these feet. It keeps it from getting too dirty on the floor. Right. When you put it down at the coffee shop. And it's huge. It's got a zipper pocket right there. Or your knitting circle. As things get spilled, they just do. It happens. It happens. It's no big deal. So it comes in orange and then also this dark gray and then this blue. I have the dark gray one. It's almost a green. Yeah, I've heard that comment before. Yeah. So yeah. They're great. We've got, got them back in stock. If you have not had a chance to get a hold of one yet, we still have them in stock. Yeah. All right. So we've got some new yarn in as well. Um, one of them is this worsted weight cantata from Cascade. We've got this one in, I want to say like 10 or 11 colors. Here's three of them. Um, yeah, it's a worsted weight. It's a 70-30 cotton superwash merino blend. Um, so yeah, maybe a little bit better for spring and summer, that kind of thing. I'm trying to find the pattern that I want you to make out of that. Yes, I'm going to be making a shop sample out of it, so that should be fun. Oh, it's called Cyborg. Mm-hmm, and I'll drop the link in. Um, well, not the link, but the name. I just to show you a picture, if I can pull it up. It's a cowl. That's very, um... So it's a bandana cowl, a bandana style cowl. And it's got a herringbone stitch, uh, and Wait, show the picture some again. eye cord. Oh, I gotta bring it up again. That's like what people in the 1980s thought we'd be wearing today, basically. What? I just, I've been watching all these old sci-fi shows, and they <laughs> thought a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Made a few assumptions, did yeah. they? <laughs> it was, it's really funny. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, can, um, you already talked about what's in that. Can I see one? Yes. It's squishy fluffy. So, it is, it's kind of, I don't know if you can see, it's a... Like a chain It's a cotton chainette, chain, and then they've air-jetted merino inside. So, it's very fluffy, light and airy except um, that fluff is going to trap in the air and keep you warm. So, yeah, 70% cotton, 30% wool. Hand wash cold lay fat to dry. Yeah, but that's... And so that's why it's got this um, fuzzy look to it. Mm -hmm. Because it's air jetted in there. Interesting. It is. I bet you'll enjoy working with it. I will tolerate working with it. Will you? Yes. Okay. Okay, so um, other items in. We also got in um, Noro. I reordered Noro Ito because we had a pretty big run on it. It's been pretty popular and trendy. People um, like it for the night shift. Right, exactly. It's like a worsted uh, slash Aaron weight yarn. Um, but, bandana shawl. Um, yeah, and. But it's heavy. Yeah, and the thing is, Andrea also made another piece, a uh, smaller piece. What What's that other pattern called? Oh, the night shift. Is it a scarf? It's the shift. Oh, the just, sh shift? Yeah, just the shift. Um, is it a scarf? It's like a cowl, I think. Is it? 
Yeah. Um, but And she made that out of a similar yarn, Noro Tabi, which is the DK uh, weight version of Ito. Mm. So that is this right a here. I sweater out of that. I did make it. I made a jacket out of the Ito, but mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to get my hands on that Tabi. Yeah, we've got it in six colors. Show this is the, four of them. Um, that side of it. You can see more of the colors. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Really pretty. Tabby, mm -hmm. DK weight. How many yards do we have? It's about 410 yards. That's uh, a lot for DK. It is. How just many, Is it 150 grams? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's 150 grams. So it's like a skein and a half of your normal 100 gram DK. So usually what is there? Like 255 in a... I'd say 250-ish range. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So, yeah, there is that. And then finally, um, Madeline Tosh announced a while back that they were releasing colors that were, well, making colors LYS exclusive. Not exclusive specifically to us necessarily, but, but exclusively available to yarn shops where you can't find it online, presumably. Well, yarn shops that have a brick and mortar can sell it online so if we wanted to sell it online we could okay um and then so other places that actually do have a brick and mortar can sell it online okay that makes sense but you can't get it from the tosh website mm -hmm. i think you can get it from jimmy beans and it was interesting too because some of the colors are pretty popular they ones are. that have been great sellers in the past like antler charcoal uh lepidoptera button jar blue yeah so, uh, yeah. yeah, that's interesting. So as a result, we decided to bring in all 12 across most, most of, of our bases. bases. Yeah. And we're still waiting on a couple of uh, bases to come in that were on back stock. But let's go like over what we do have. Like the mohair, twist light, and vintage, vintage which is worsted weight. Yeah. But They're low on vintage have, right now. Yeah. Um, oh, we have it in the... But we have it in TML, glitter, glitter and also regular TML. Nice. What colors do you have there? Antler? This is Lark and Antler. Yeah, Lark is nice. It's like leather. Mm -hmm. um, this is or Yoko. Suede. It looks like suede. It matches really, all these together go really well. They do. That probably influenced the decision somewhat too. I think Jasmine just picked some of the best sellers. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and that was cool of her. And and really cool. We're happy to take them on. So this is Yoko in Piri, which is their lace weight. What now? Piri. Prairie. Prairie. Did I say Prairie? You did. That's Brooklyn Tweed. Prairie. Sorry. Uh, too much yarn on the brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, next, we've got up work sock. That is gorgeous. Midnight Pass. I didn't even know. Their other blue that they had in the bunch. That's so pretty. Mm-hmm. And then um, here's Button Jar Blue in Farm Twist. Oh, it looks different on camera. Does it? Mm-hmm. looks more blue. It's green here yeah this is it, yeah it's it's more turquoisey on the camera than in real life so this is again why we exist because you need to get your eyeballs on it um and then this is california poppy and high twist which is another uh dk weight base of theirs mm -hmm. and then finally these are not all 12 of the colors there's also cactus or yeah deep green and... right and uh, yeah, I just grabbed one of each, each base, base, basically. Right. This is Daisy, uh, and that's an ASAP, which is like a bulky, so bulky, is something chunky? like that. Uh, chunky. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Here is one of the... Here is... This is Antelope Canyon. It's a blue and orange. Oh, that's Lepidop. No, that's, that's Cactus. cactus. Mm -hmm. It's like a dark green. Um, I wasn't sure what to make of this when I saw it on the um, Is this a online, but seeing it in person, I really like it. No, that's Flash Dance. You like that one? Yes, I do. And this is Lepidoptera, by the way. Oh, there we go. That the classic you, I mean, farm twist. That's a popular color. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we've got all that yarn in. It was a considerable amount of yarn, and there's a little bit of belly aching when it showed up, which means I Not know I've done me. my job. Not from you. Uh, but yeah, come check it out. We also have more copies of the 52 Weeks of Sock by 
Do we, are we calling this Lina? Lina, I Lina. think is officially. Lina magazine. With um, the smallest, cutest dust jacket ever. <laughs> Two weeks of socks. Mm -hmm. And that just came out, what, last Friday? Friday, yeah. yeah. How many? So we still, it looks like four copies on hold back there for mm -hmm. people who need to come pick them up. Right. And we've got, we've about got about like uh, probably a dozen in stock. Probably a besides. dozen, yeah. So you can still get one if you want one. $47.99. Um, pick one up in the shop and you don't have to pay shipping. From where are these from? England. I thought they were Norwegian. Are they? Maybe you're right. I know, all I know is Europe. Yeah, we had to pay in euros. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It, it must be Norwegian because uh, England has gone back were to they the British pound. Kronars? No. No, no it was they, were euros. they were euros. Um, but I was trying to see if I could see. Latvia. Printed in Latvia. Okay. So Lane Magazine, um, beautiful publications. I think there was maybe about 10 of them, I want to say. But they announced earlier, or later last year, that they weren't going to continue publishing the magazine because of uh, health reasons. And it just got too much. But I guess they were working on this sock book before. Maybe they had a lot of submissions for the magazine for sock patterns. So they gathered them all together and put them in this mm -hmm. beautiful hardback compilation. And um, it's got color photos, really pretty full layouts, all the patterns. This is one of my favorites. This centerfold is amazing. And it took me a while to find that pattern because it's not a right next to it that's like the center pattern it's on page 90 oh like raw those. honey rose is what those are really beautiful socks and i know so monica's already started knitting she has i don't she's not going in order but um she's already she was originally talking about how she was going to knit one of each sock and then go back and knit yeah, the other crazy. one and that's that was like that's crazy talk lady <laughs> crazy Second sock I, syndrome. Yeah, I think she uh, has reconsidered yeah, since. But she's going really fast. Um, yep. So these all different types of socks. There's some almost plain, plain Jane, plain vanillas. Um, all different weights. Um, they range from like really lightweight lacy socks to uh, slippers. Um, these slippers are really cute. Elf slippers. So yeah, 52 patterns. So the book is 40, under $50, but you get that means less than a dollar per pattern. That's pretty cool. That's a heck of a deal. Heck of a deal. Heck, heck of, of a deal. deal. I do not believe that they are, there's not a download code or anything, so the patterns are all hard copy. So heck of a deal. Heck of a deal. <laughs> So what else do we have? You already talked about the bags. Oh, you have a box to open. I do have a box to open. open. We a had box. a box show up to the shop today. We kind of pushed way back here, but mm -hmm. can you get that box I open? I can't get the box open. I may have cheated and pre-opened it. I hope that there's some sort of cellophane that you can... I know. The noisier, the better. Love it. We finally had to put some sort of a padding down so that we wouldn't clank our coffee cups and tea mugs. She kept slamming her fist on the table. It was becoming a problem. No. Mm -mm. All right. So we have gotten in a box from New Zealand, Ashford. We've gotten in some more dents. We've gotten so these are in different um, red weights. Yeah. The, these are heddles. Yeah, they they call and the dents are how many are in. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you can get a ten dent, twelve dent. Yeah, these are actually twelve point five DPI, and which is for fingering weight. Why yarn. you would want to change that is the weight of the yarn, and you might want to squish your um, weft, no, your warp closer together to get a more dense fabric. Mm-hmm. Tapestry beater. 
Kristen's nodding her head. Like, she listened. Amy listened. <laughs> I don't listen. <laughs> and we've got in more of these sample at looms because we have another upcoming rigid heddle weaving class. And if you wanted to take it and get one of these for it. And it comes with what size? Okay, this heddle comes with a 7.5, which is good for worsted weight and DK. Okay, good to know. Yarn. So, and apparently the trend that I've noticed is that people get by default the DK worsted one. And then yeah. the next one they want is fingering weight. Right. To use all those fingering weight yarns that you've got in your stash. Right. So is that what these are for? Yes. So that's cool. That's to kind of complement what already comes with the samplet. Right. So you can change the heddle and use different yarns. And that's pretty much it. We've got some frame looms. We have some uh, finishing wax. wax. The, right. the, they come unfinished, and that's one way to finish it, not the only way to finish it. And warp thread weights, in mm -hmm. case you need to add an extra warp thread or ones on the end. Yeah, we've got like weaving needles in. We've got just all kinds of weaving needles. goodies. Weaving needles. Tapestry beater. A hundred tapestry beater. Mm hmm. Should have seen that one coming. <laughs> Nice. Yep. So big box of goodies from Ashford. Cool. Do you have any finished projects? I'm sure you have. I do, actually. <laughs> what do you have? I'll show you what I got. Oh, he's surprised and shocked. You have something that's finished. I do. And I You're forgot to bring excited. it over, so excuse me real quick. All right. For my finished object, I've got this guy. Boom. <laughs> What's his name? When did you end up naming him? Oh, Walter. Walter. Walter, Walter the Wolf. The wolf. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, I wanted to. I'd been t telling the Hold gang. Hold him up. We can't see him. I'd okay, been telling ahead. the gang for a while that I wanted to take on a big cable work project. <laughs> cable. <laughs> so here we go. He's so cute. Uh huh. And then after, and um, who found who found the unicorn one? Who found that pattern? That was Kristen, I think. Mickey found one. What? No, Kristen oh, no, found, found it. it. You found it. There's a unicorn, one of these little friends. Mm -hmm. So super cute. So and yep. a Pegasus, right? Um, yes. Or you could, or you could an, combine them together and make an alicorn. Or an alicorn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we watch My Little Pony. Because <laughs> I have small children. Mm -hmm. Well, older <laughs> That's now. That's my excuse. What's yours? Older now, but they were. It was a thing when they were younger. <laughs> Friendship is magic, Hunter. Of course it is. It's a good show. It's not bad, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think it's made by the person who made Powerpuff Girls or something. So, I don't know, whatever. It's about no, all I know. It wasn't. Was it not? Mm -mm. They made some previous show. It was made by a lady. I can't remember. I heard. A, I heard a story about her. But anyway, so I have a finished. Is that I have a finished? Yeah, that's my only finished object. I have a finished object. Well, it's you the have Sorel sweater. Less impressive, woolen, but okay. By woolen vine, <laughs> a design duo, um, and let me grab it. So I did. I wore it this week, the day after I finished it. I went ahead and wore it. Um, here we go. It is Tosh Marina Light, four different colors of TML. Um, the top three are one of a kinds from our yarn crawl trunk show that we did with them. Uh, we were just building fades left and right with those one of a kinds. And then the bottom is um, Caruso? Crusoe. Crus no. Cousteau. 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 Like Jacques Cousteau. Mm -hmm. The bottom is Cousteau. And um, it's all it's ha all held with mohair, um, and I used three different colors of mohair uh, by Shibui. Mm -hmm. So nice. Shibui's silk mohair, um, and I can't camel maybe. And then this was a different color, and then the bottom, the deep deep was water the, was. Deep uh... water. So deep water and Cousteau went really well together. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think the top one was camel. That's not ringing a bell. It's not ringing a bell. I originally was just going to do three colors, those three colors, but I got really nervous about running out of yarn for the sleeves because you knit it, you, it's like a, a yoke, and then you do the sleeves after you finish the body. Um, so I, I grabbed a fourth color and just used the mohair, the fourth color mohair that I had. So 
I do have quite a bit left over. Um, not of this color. I used color three the most, I think, and color two, but I still have color one because you don't have to come back and do the arms because you pick them up down here into color two. But I have plenty of color four, which I like a lot. So I think I'm going to make like a neckerchief with the TML and the mohair held together. Cool. Maybe. I also opted not to do the ribbing on the top because I don't like a high collar. So I'm just going <laughs> to, I was going to say I don't like anything around my neck, but then I'm just going to make a neckerchief to go around my neck. Mm hmm There you go. It's removable though. You can take it off without having to take off the whole sweater. Mm-hmm. So cool. that's my finished, finished thing this week. Nice. What are you working on, Hunter? All right. What am I working on? Um, I have been working on this off and on mostly when I have time. Not that I have. I'm making, <laughs> I'm making progress on it. So that's what I'm working on. Um, I like this. Yeah. And you've put it on your foot? I have not, actually. I was going to do it I last night. I keep telling night, you to put it on your foot. I know. It looks really tiny. It's... I mean, I guess it's supposed to... Sh it's supposed to stretch it's because super it's... super stretchy. ...ribbing, but... Look how big around that is. Can you is. fit your big old foot in there? Yeah. It's not... It's not that big. Size 11. And a half. That's long. It's not wide. Okay. No, it's getting wider, too. The more you pound the pavement on your runs, mm -hmm. they spread out, don't they? Yeah, but I mean, I don't think it's anything egregious. No. Cool. I don't have like caveman feet or anything like that, where it's just like <laughs> huge. <laughs> you used to be a ten and a half. Yep. And then I ran for several years. And fun fact, when you do all that running, it tend, all that impact does tend to make your feet bigger. So that's the thing. Cool. I'm working on this centrifugal shawl by Carissa Browning, DFW's own Carissa Browning, which is the DFW Fiber Fest. What's that yes, smile for? Nothing. The DFW Fiber Fest Knit Along, mm -hmm. uh, organized by Carmen of Mahogany Sheep. So you already did the crochet along, and now you've moved on I to the knit along. I did the crochet along. along, and now I'm on the knit along. Do you want to hold up that side for me? I can. This side right here? Yeah. So I'm really enjoying the I-cord edge on this. I think it's really pretty. I chose to do, there's a five color option, because I think there's five sections, and there's a three color option where you fade or stripe the colors in between together so i'm doing the three color option yeah i was about to say i didn't realize there was like a striped version or whatnot i don't think the others i've seen had that going on don rust striped her whole thing oh did she it looks really great she's finished cool um miss twin knits mm -hmm. on, the on the handles on the on the socials is her handle on the socials mm -hmm. if you want to look her up um but it's a good, it's the, kind of the same garter stitch rows over and over and over. So it's good uh, popcorn, no potato chip knitting. Hmm. Where you can talk, you can take it to knit night, you can watch TV with it, you can, you can do whatever. Easy to count because you switch up after a certain amount of garter ridges. So easy, it's easy to count the ridges. Um, and easy to memorize the pattern. Cool. Yeah, it is cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what else do we have? I think that covers it. We still need to do the podcast giveaway and then figure out oh, what we're doing right. next. We give away prizes. Mm -hmm. So, what we had selected last time around for the podcast prize is this skein of Wonderland Yarn Blossoms, this gradient. And you were looking up patterns to do with that, weren't you? Did you find a lot of cool ones? Um, yeah, there were some cool ones. There was a cool um, shawl that had like all this uh, patterning in I it, like, like that one. geometric. And I completely am blanking and on the And you know why it would look good? It's because even though it's a, a color fade, 
it's a solid enough color that you can do lace and it's it, you can still see the lace mm -hmm. which was precisely what that pattern was and it was also a one um skein or ball one ob uh, one, one skein pattern mm -hmm. yep nice so yeah i'll drop the name of whatever it was i found in the okay. podcast so am i the random number or do i count how many people Ooh, i'll do the random number okay let me pull up the youtubes 42 mm -hmm. and generate 25 okay i can do it yes okay susan sward you are the winner congratulations Yay! Huzzah! <laughs> well done and last week we asked week before last week we asked about knit alongs and Susan says, yes, she does do a knit along, but mystery knit along, she often doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't continue because she doesn't like the pattern after clue three. So that is, I'm with you. Yeah. That's the struggle with mystery I'm knit with alongs. You. Is mystery sometimes knit alongs it's just are like, mm. not my favorite. Although yep. I did do the Stephen West one last year and I enjoyed it. Yeah. That seemed to work out well. Yeah. Um, cool. All right. So what are we going to avoid this week? All right, let's go ahead and go into the basket of all the goodies that we got in today and see what random goodie I can come up with. It's not random. It's not random. You sure are shaking the camera, though. I am sorry about that. <laughs> I had to dig. You guys ready to see it? I am. Madeline Tosh, beautiful. Work Sock, Color of Midnight Pass. That is a beautiful. It's, it's a little bit darker on screen than in person. It's kind of a... Caribbean blue, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. When we we're trying to figure out what we we're going to give away, Amy is like, why don't we give away some Cantana? I, just, I looked at her like this. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah. No, we're doing Work Sock. Tell me what's so special about Work Sock. Work Sock is great. Okay. So it is a sport weight yarn. Um, it's not 75. Sock weight. Not sock weight. It is sport weight yarn, 7525. So it has nylon in it mm -hmm. and it's at 400 yards. So it's That's basically. A lot of yardage. It's a lot of yardage when it when you consider that it sport weight. That's why it's so huge. Is it? it is. Is it still 100 grams, just really big and fluffy? You know what? I don't think I see where it says. It's not on there. I'd have to weigh it. So I'll, I'll weigh it later and I'll drop it in. You will? I will. Yeah, and they don't put the grams on there. Okay, so what's the question going to be? Oh, um, have we done a yarn color since, since we, the, since there are 12 yarn store colors of Tosh, mm -hmm. what is your favorite color? Or what color do you think they should have included? You think that's a good one? Sure, but that means they would have to know all the colors to begin oh, with. People know Tosh colors. Come okay. on. Okay. Okay. So if you don't know a Tosh color, yeah. if you don't have a favorite Tosh color, uh, just what favorite color do you think they should have included? That works. There you go. Cool. Just, it could be any color. It could be green. Mm hmm. Grillo. Mm hmm. Is that a color? Or Fuchsia. it can. Uh huh. Or you can like do something very specific. Like I like Danger Will Robinson the color, but would like something slightly different you would mm -hmm. <laughs> nice to know uh-huh <laughs> all right that is it for us for this time yes thank you for watching all right please watch again bye bye